Should you buy, sell, or hold gold in a bear market? How you doing everybody? Welcome to Empire Precious Metals. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please make sure you blast that subscribe button and get that bell notification clicked and that way you get updated with any new content. Today I wanted to talk to you about gold, specifically whether or not you should buy, sell, or hold gold in a bear market. Now right now, looks like we are definitely in a bear market for the precious metal. We have seen the prices drop over the last handful of months all the way from $2,068 in intraday trading, all the way down now to around $1,640, give or take. So we are seeing gold drop drastically, and that's mainly in part due to the financial situation that we are seeing right now. Inflation, as we all know, is at 40-year highs, and the Fed continues to increase rates. That props up the dollar, makes this stuff stronger, thereby making metals weaker. So is this the time that you should be buying, selling, or holding gold? Let's get into this article real quick, and then I will let you know my opinion whether or not you should be buying, selling, or holding gold in a bear market. So this article was sent to me from a friend of mine, Dr. Who, on YouTube and Instagram. And this is from Yahoo Finance on September 25th. So today, at 2000, uh, September 25th, 2022, at 8.12 a.m., three-minute read, gold. Should investors hold it in a bear market? Experts weigh in. The precious metal, often labeled a hedge against inflation and commonly known as a safe haven, is looking dull. I've talked about that before. The whole hedge against inflation doesn't seem to really be the case when it comes to this hyperinflation environment that we're in. If you're talking about your standard 2 to 3% inflation, then I would say, yes, this is a hedge against inflation. But right now what we're seeing, no. Against hyperinflation, definitely not. And we know this because over the last couple of years, we've seen gold prices get all the way up to above $2,000. It hit all-time highs and inflation continues to increase. And so now we are seeing the prices of metals drop. And that's because we're seeing the Fed continually increase rates. Just recently, what was it, 100 basis points, something like that. And we're looking to possibly raise it another 100 to 125 basis points before 2023. Let's continue. In our series, What to Do in a Bear Market, we asked experts to tell us if there's value to holding gold in this envi environment. So why hasn't gold performed better this year? In fact, let me zoom in a little bit more for you guys. All right. First, with major central banks around the world tightening their policies, this has helped to send bond yields to multi-year highs. Yield-seeking investors have been better off to hold government bonds to get some guaranteed return rather than holding zero-yielding assets like gold. Fawad Razak... Forgive me for <laughs> messing up your name. We'll just say Mr. R, market an analyst at City Index and Forex.com, told Yahoo Finance. Second, the strengthening U.S. dollar has weighed heavily on nearly all major buck-denominated assets, including gold, which I just mentioned, would be buyers earning in foreign currencies are having to pay more, and so they are buying, dis uh, being discouraged to invest in gold. He continues. Here we see the price of gold uh, dropped all the way down to 1651. Should investors hold gold in their portfolios, and if so, how much? This is where uh, fund managers and strategists really defer. We do not recommend a fixed allocation to gold unless investors want to speculate on currency rates or have some other short-term bull thesis that could, that could cause gold to appreciate. Jay Hatfield, portfolio manage, manager of the InfraCap Equity Income Fund, ICAP ETF, told Yahoo Finance. Rob Haworth, Senior investment strategist at U.S. Bank Wealth Management generally recommends little to no permanent gold or metals exposure for portfolios given the price volatility and no consistent income stream. So now we're seeing pretty much three experts saying, uh, this isn't something that you kind of want to be in. Investors may consider very modest exposures if they are particularly concerned about trend in value of the U.S. dollar reversing, which could unhinge inflation pressures further and support gold prices, said Haworth. Other support, uh, small, others support a small exposure in a portfolio. In general, although each investor situation is unique, we believe a 3 to 5% allocation to gold products would seem adequately sized to capture the benefits of holding gold as an asset class, says 
Imaru Casanova, Deputy Portfolio Manager, Senior Gold Analyst at VenX. So this is a smaller position that we typically have seen quoted previously. Typically, we see some people say 10 to 15 percent. Now we're seeing three to five percent. Mahit Bajaj of uh, Wallach Beck Capital tells Yahoo Finance he's a big proponent of always allocating across the board in all sorts of asset classes. Anywhere from 5 to 10% should be more than sufficient. Okay, so 5 to 10%. Uh, for investors who want to hold the yellow metal, which is better, physical or paper? This is something, again, in the stacking community, people say if you don't hold it, you don't own it. Let's see what they say here. Some experts bring up safety and storage concerns when it comes to physical gold. Louis Navellier, founder and chief investment officer of Navellier and Associates, tells Yahoo Finance he doesn't recommend physical, but he does have a tip for those who insist on holding it. There is a big markup on coins. So Credit Suisse bars are typically sold with a smaller markup. So they're talking about the generic stuff, not the uh, gold coins that we typically show on stacking channels. As for ETFs, Navalier says, I do not recommend gold to ETFs since I do not like to pay the ETF spreads. But Bajaj of Wallach Beck recommends the SPDR Spider Gold shares GLD if you want to get access to gold without having to physically buy the metal. Granite shares gold trust bar is another one of uh, that we've seen a lot of strong demand in, says Bajaj. From a price standpoint, it's only like 16 or 17 bucks. So for those who are um, novice investors who want to put their foot into the space, they can buy that without having to expand as much capital, he added. Okay. Doesn't look like these people really are proponents of owning physical gold. So what do I think about owning physical gold? Let's get right back to it. So with all that information from the financial experts, a lot of things to consider. But for me personally, I think this is a great opportunity to be buying gold. I say this because I was buying gold all the way at the heights. I was buying it at the $2,000 $2,025 spot prices. This is a long-term hold game when it comes to buying this precious metals. So if you are one of those people that got into stacking over the last couple of years and you are seeing that your investment or your savings, however you want to call it, you are seeing that you are down significantly with what you initially put out. This is an opportunity for you to dollar cost average. I've talked about this many times before on the channel and on other channels within the stacking community on YouTube. But this is a great opportunity for you to be buying some of this stuff at a cheaper price than you were buying just a last few months or even a year ago. If you are thinking about getting into gold, this is a great opportunity because you are buying it at a lower price than we have seen in many years. So in my opinion, this is not the opportunity for you to be selling. If anything, hold at the very least and try to add to your position. Let me know in the comments down below. Are you buying, selling, or holding gold? Let us know in the comments down below.